Carl and Christy, congratulations. I can't even begin to talk about the contribution that you've made to this world of Canadian publishing and uh, you're spectacular people. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it's just something to be here tonight to see you celebrated this way, as it should be, and it should go on for a 24-hour party. Anyway, um, congratulations, and uh, I loved working with you at the LPG, and I've loved knowing you ever since. Okay, hello, I'm Brian Kaufman, and I have a few words to say about Talon Books and Carl Siegler, because I, there's too many people speaking tonight to be on the actual formal list, so I just wanted to say, Carl, you're fantastic, you're an inspiration, and you are partly responsible for me becoming a publisher, because had you hired me way back in 1985 when I came into the old Cordova office, maybe I could have just been an employee for a great publisher and I wouldn't have had to take the stress and the strain of being a literary publisher in Canada. And I didn't even get to talk to you that day. I came in and there you were in the background, I could see you, you were talking with somebody, you kind of gave me a derisive kind of glance, like another annoying, who's that, a poet? Let's come in the building! But Mary Schendlinger was there and she spoke to me and we had a great conversation and she told me a little bit about, well a little bit and something very important about literary publishing in Canada is that we're so small, we're only a couple of employees and I'm sorry we don't have any work for you today. Thank you Carl. So when Carl and I were uh, talking about the fest trip for Jerry Zaslav, we had one difficult moment uh, that had to do with him thinking that I thought that he was not in touch with um, current scholarship on Heidegger. And um, there was a moment of tension that had to do with his resentment against the academic community, and my, his perception of me as a member of that community, and my feeling that I was not a happy member of that community and could appreciate also his resentments for it. So it was a very tangled moment which I would have liked to have spent uh, several bottles of scotch unraveling with him, but I never had the opportunity to do so.